You know that nostalgic feeling when you think that today's animation movies aren't as good as they used to be? This is the year that the sheer effort, plot, and depth of characters poured into these films, magnified by animation styles, beats non-animated movies. 2024 is just coming for your hearts with this lineup of sequels, tragic comedies, actions, and everything in between. This is future nostalgia in the making. Welcome to See Next. Today, we're ranking the top 10 best animated movies of 2024 so far. Get your popcorn, ready, set, and let's go. <laughs> Number 10, The Garfield Movie. You hungry, little guy? <laughs> you want a little more? We've arrived at an age when we have so many iconic and quotable movies that an equally iconic film that packs itself full of pop culture references that further enriches its plot. That brings us to, yes, the highly anticipated Garfield movie. Any consequences of this Tabby's action can be chalked up to him being an orange cat. But a line has to be drawn somewhere, and his long-lost father, Street Cat Vic, might lead him to cross it. You have Chris Pratt as Garfield. His estranged father, Vic? None other than Samuel L. Jackson, the indelible Hannah Waddingham, after a knockout tour starring in Ted Lasso and The Fall Guy, is a villainous Persian cat. When does Snoop Dogg come in? You'll mainly have to see for yourself. Little did I know, it was all about to collapse. <laughs> Odie, I'm dreaming again. Slap me across the face. <laughs> Number 9, If. Hi. Oh, God. It's rare that a movie like If succeeds in what it does, draw in both children and their parents, and everyone in between. We were convinced when we heard John Krasinski was directing this, not to mention is actually in it, and so are Emily Blunt, Steve Carell, Fiona Shaw, and of course, Ryan Reynolds. The premise is this. A girl finds out that she has a super ability, the power to see imaginary friends. What comes next is a misadventure of matching imaginary friends with their kids and learning a few life lessons along the way. I can find anyone. Anywhere. He got my mouth. Thanks for doing this. Don't look him in the eye. Which one? Yeah, that's gonna grow right back. Number eight, the imaginary. She's already forgotten you, Rudge. You're wrong. Amanda will never forget me. Animated movies woke up in 2024 and decided to break our hearts by bringing up the same imaginary friends we needed as kids and grew out of. Brought to you by Studio Ponak and alum director Yoshiyuki Mamos, the imaginary captures that nostalgic feeling of childhood imagination and deep connections. Rudger is Amanda's imaginary friend. His brief life comes to a standstill when he learns that he will fade out of existence if and when Amanda forgets him. Not only is this movie heart-wrenchingly beautifully animated, but its themes, grief and friendships are profound. There is something that imagination can never defeat. And that is reality. Number seven, Despicable Me 4. Gru, I need a word with you. Your family's lives are at stake. What? what are you doing? Maxime Rabal has escaped from prison. I'm coming for my revenge, Gru. This is the movie that's kicking long legs from the top spot. If you saw that scene in The Office when Will Ferrell's character D'Angelo Vickers was in the same room as Steve Carell's Michael Scott and thought, this tension is worth exploring, then Despicable Me 4 is right up your alley. Gru thinks he has his happily ever after. His son, Gru Jr., disagrees. But that's not Gru's biggest issue. It's his nemesis, Maxime, fresh out of the slammer and revenge on his mind. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our new secret weapon, the Mega Minion. Number six, Ultraman Rising. Dad, did you ever worry that your power wasn't enough? Every single day. An Avengers Justice League-esque animation that went full throttle. Ken Sato has found his life's calling, baseball. But when Tokyo is attacked, there's another mantle that he has to take that's more integral to both his family and country the mantle of Ultraman, the superhero his father was. Colossal, eldritch monsters are threatening his home and people. Reluctantly, Ken returns home to take over his father's legacy. 
Ultraman Rising has got major battles, transcendent moments when you realize your potential, our relationships with our parents, and more. Oh my god. Not good. Number 5. Orion and the Dark ah! I'm most afraid of the dark. <laughs> Orion is afraid of a lot of things. Satra meets Monster under the bed and Smile, the horror movie in this cartoon. What was your biggest fear as a child? The overwhelmingly majority would say the dark or a smiling monster. Meet Dark, the embodiment of our protagonist Orion's worst fear. Technically, Orion's also afraid of his bully and his crutch. Dark and Orion then embark on a roller coaster ride to get over his fear of the dark. Allow me to introduce the other night entities. There's more? We're fun. You're gonna love us. Number four, Spy vs. Family Code, White. This will lead to war between East and West. What a nosy little girl. Kill her. Mr. and Mrs. Smith meets anime spy action comedy. The fate of the world is in the hands of the world's most unusual family. There's the dad, Loud Forger, who's his agency's best spy. He was tasked with Operation Strix, a mission that required him to go deep undercover. So deep that he had to get a wife and daughter. Then there's the mom, your forger, who's also an assassin. One spy plus an assassin resulted in Anya Forger, their adopted daughter, who's a telepath. When Operation Strix is under threat to be transformed to a new agent, the Forger family must stick together and maintain world peace. Don't take this personally. <laughs> no! I'll get them back. Number three, Kung Fu Panda 4. I'm not gonna be the dragon warrior anymore. You will advance to spiritual leader of the Valley of Peace. When the mentee becomes the mentor, this is a sign that we've all grown up. In the latest installment of the Kung Fu Panda universe, a full 16 years after the first movie came out, Poe must now bring up a new warrior when he's chosen to become the Valley of Peace's spiritual leader. A few things are standing in the way of that. Among them is a shape-shifting sorceress who wants the Staff of Wisdom. In a superhero-esque move, Poe calls for backup. Who's in the cast? None other than Jack Black, of course. Dustin Hoffman, Brian Cranston, James Hong, Ian McShane, Viola Davis, Kehu Kwan, and of course, the indelible Aquafina. You finally met your match, Chameleon. We're not so different, you and I. Number two, Robot Dreams. Robot Dreams is simple. It's beautiful and it's heartbreaking and teeming with soul. Ironically, from a dog and a robot. It's the 1980s, New York City, populated with dogs, cats, pigs, birds, and various animal groups. Our protagonist dog makes himself a best friend, Robot. Together, they embark on a nearly perfect day, a Labor Day outing to Coney Island. Then Robot Dreams turns around and sucker punches you because now, Robot's metal parts are rusting and soon, he's not going to be able to move at all. Before we reveal our first pick, let's look at some honorable mentions. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Q, the dumpster battle. Demon Slayer to the Hashira training. Maburoshi. Justice League, Crisis on Infinite Earths, Part 1. Welcome our newly formed team of heroes. The Justice League. Number 1, Inside Out 2. Ah! I'm anxiety. Where can I put my stuff? A new emotion! Oh, I'm sorry. We wanted to make such a good first impression. Uh, what do you mean, we? You know that a movie about the torture that is puberty is good when the creators consult actual teenage girls. Inside Out 2 undergoes a metamorphosis. So far, we've seen joy, sadness, anger, fear, and disgust, right? Enter five new emotions, anxiety, envy, embarrassment, inui, and nostalgia. 
And they're all reaching for the steering wheel of Riley's adolescent brain in her most formative years. Joining an already all-star cast are Maya Hawk, Ayo Edebiri, Adele, Exarchopoulos, and Paul Walter Hauser. Watch Riley navigate that awkward phase of everyone's life. Don't look down and keep moving. She'll be okay, right? Uh, 50-50. And these are the top 10 best animated movies of 2024 so far. What did you think? Did we miss one of your favorites? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell below to be notified of new content. Thanks for watching.